Hi, in this video we'll learn how to add mixed fractions with unlike denominators. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert these mixed fractions into improper fractions. To do that, we're going to multiply the whole number with the fractions denominator first and then whatever we get, we're going to add that to the numerator. So let's first multiply the whole number with the fractions denominator. So 5 times 6 will give me 30 and 30 plus 5 is going to give me 35. So my numerator is going to be 35 over 6. Numerator is 35 and the denominator will still remain the same. We're not going to change the denominator. Then we're going to put the plus sign in between. Again, we're going to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. So we're going to multiply 2 and 4. 2 times 4 gives 8. And then 8 plus 1 gives me 9. So my numerator is going to be 9 and my denominator will not change. So my denominator is going to be 4. Again, you multiply your whole number with the fraction's denominator. So 2 times 4 gives you 8 and then you add that to the numerator. So 8 plus 1 gives you 9 and you got 9 fourths. Now, since we have different denominators here, we cannot add these fractions unless we have the same denominators. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the least common multiple of my denominator, 6 and 4. So first of all, let's write, let's list down the multiples of 6 and 4. The multiples of 6 is going to be 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. And then the multiples of 4 is going to be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and so on. I don't have to go that far. Now I'm looking for the least common multiple. The multiple which is common in both and which is the smallest. So the smallest number is 12 which is common in both of them. So I'm going to circle it. Now I, I know that the least common multiple is going to be 12. I'm going to use this to make the denominators equal. So now I know that my denominators should be 12 because the least common multiple is 12. I know that denominator should be 12. Now what do I do to make the denominator 12? Think about this. My fraction is 35 over 6 and I want the denominator to be 12. Well what do I multiply in 6 to get 12? Well I can multiply this by 2. If I multiply my denominator by 2, I would also have to multiply my numerator by 2 to balance my fraction. And 35 times 2 is going to be 70. So you can see that 35 over 6 is equal to 70 over 12. These are the equivalent fractions. They're equal to each other. So I can replace this fraction 35 over 6 by 70 over 12. Right? So I'm going to replace this fraction 35 over 6 with 70 over 12. So this is going to be 70 over 12. Now again, I need to do the same process. I want my denominator to be 12. Okay, now what do I multiply in 4 to make it 12? Well, I can multiply this by 3. If I multiply my denominator by 3, I would also have to multiply my numerator by 3 to balance my fraction. 9 times 3 will be equal to 27. So 9 fourths is equal to 27 over 12. These two are the equivalent fractions, and I can replace 9 fourths with 27 over 12. So in place of 9 fourths, I'm going to write 27 over 12. And now you see that I got the denominators equal, so I can go ahead and add the fractions. So my denominator is not going to change, it's going to stay 12. And we're going to add the numerator, so 70 plus 27 is going to give me 97. So I got 97 over 12. Now you can see that this is an improper fraction because my numerator is greater than the denominator. And we cannot leave our answer in this form, so we're going to change this into mixed fraction so we're going to use the long division method to convert this into mixed fraction. So let's divide 97 by 12. 12 will go into 97 8 times because 12 times 8 is 96. And then we're going to subtract 7 minus 6 is 1, so the remainder is 1. Now we're going to write this in the form of mixed fraction. When we write this in the form of mixed fraction, our quotient goes first. So we're going to put 8 first, 8 becomes my whole number, and then we're going to use our remainder and divisor to make the fractional part. 
So remainder becomes the fraction's numerator, and the divisor becomes the fraction's denominator. So my answer is going to be 8 and 1 twelfths. So that's going to be our final answer. So I hope you feel comfortable in adding mixed fractions with unlike denominators now. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.